Hello guys, welcome back to Global Happenings today. Few days ago, the governor of Ondo State had issued an eviction notice to Fulani haters to leave the forest reserve, reason being that they were staying there to commit all manner of heinous crime. And um, they had a meeting and they resolved some things. It was clearly spelled out. It shouldn't be, you know, um, violating the rule of gracing in the night younger people to doing do doing um this thing ring of cattle that younger fulanis and all of that they agreed on something but right now um the ondo state government have jumped into action speedily to ensure that they deal with anyone who is violating their quick notice they are very serious and about, about it and i think this is the right direction to go and uh, you will be so shocked the number of haters that have been arrested by the Amortekun, the Southwest uh, Security Network Amortekun, and the number of cattle that they have seized in the process. Just such a short period of time, they've already jumped into action just to show you that the guy is serious about the uh, law, serious about protection of, of life and properties of his people. And I, I wish to congratulate him right away. But first of all, before we go into um, detail uh, analysis, just let's look at the news in detail. Not fewer than 37 headsmen and 5,000 cattle have been arrested by the Ondo State Security Outfit, codenamed Omotekun, for violating the quit notice of forest reserve by the state government. They were arrested in government forest reserve located at Ala, Oda, and Ofusu. Recall that Governor Rotomi Akredulu had issued a seven day quit notice to the headsmen in the government forest reserves across the state. Akeridul therefore asked the headsmen to register with the government so that they can operate unhindered in the forest reserves. Commander of the state Amotekun Corp Chief Adetunji Adeleye confirmed the arrest of the headers who could not cope with the terms and conditions of the state government. Adeleye added that other headsmen have met with the Corp and have peacefully opted to move out of the state. He said that the enforcement of the government order was still ongoing as his personnel were still in the forest to flush out the remaining airing headers. According to him, some of them have opted to leave the state because they couldn't meet, with, meet up with our terms and conditions. They came through the chairman of Meiti Allah in the state. Some opted to go to Oshun, Edo and Kogi. So our men escorted, to, escorted them to the boundary of those states. We have to monitor their movement out of the state so that they would not destroy farms on their way out. Man, this is great. About 37 headers have been arrested with about 5,000 cows. Majority of the headers have been coming to us through their chairman and a special advisor to the governor on housing matters. We will hand over the corporate to the chairman to lead them out and anybody caught again after this will be arrested and prosecuted. Adeleye asked the farmers to always call on the cops whenever the cows invade and destroy their farms, noting that his personnel would respond promptly. According to him, he said, it is always difficult for us to trace the headers after they had destroyed the farm. But if we are called upon during the act, we will come and make an arrest and ensure that the headers pay for what they destroyed. Wow, this is, I'm telling you, this is excellent. This is great. When you have an enforceable governor, I mean, you don't have to overstress yourself because all what he does is to sit back and call for your problems, bring your problem, and to some extent, he will find a way of fixing it. Now, I, I'm not here to sing the um, praises of Akeridoru, but let us try to tell ourselves the truth sometimes, you know. And uh, that is that Akeridoru had done superbly well in the area of... Of restoring security back to his own state. We've heard severally about the issue of destruction of uh, lives and properties in Ondo State. We've heard a lot of things how they have been destroying the uh, uh, commercial farms of uh, farmers and all of that. A lot of people were even scared to stay in some communities and uh, they, they, it was difficult for them to handle the issue. This same Akedu was the person who spearheaded and push for there to be a motekun. I could still remember 
at one point that he said he wouldn't mind even trading his second term to ensure that that regional security network is enforced. He stood by it and every other guys were around him, but he was the one at, in the front. They pushed until they had a motekun God. I, I, why would you ever condemn this kind of guy? Why wouldn't anybody want to stake his neck for this kind of guy? Yes, he may be earning salaries. He may be, yeah, that's really not too good and all of that. But, hey, we know that one of the greatest um, challenge of this current administration had been on how to cope the, 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 the attitude and terrible act of these guys who have been causing a lot of issues. Now, look at what had happened. Most of them have gone to where? To the places where there are no laws. They've gone to Shun State. Some have gone to Kogi State. Some have gone to uh, Edo State. Edo State is already, we all know what is happening in Edo State. Edo is on serious case. I'm telling you, these guys are doing, the, uh, they are doing unthinkable things there, especially on the road. They take out time to, to capture people, take them, call it ransom, and sometimes, unfortunately, these people do not return with life. I'm telling you, uh, yeah, most people are talking about uh, that uh, they are good guys and all of that. We know about that, but bros, uh, sometimes you just need to protect yourself, you know. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to protect yourself because uh, you don't know when they will strike. Because uh, after all, we've heard their story thus far. It has always been in the night. Before you know, they come in, burn down the place, do all manner of things. Our women are not safe. Our children are not safe. It's cause of death everywhere and all of that. So this step taken by Keru is the greatest I've ever seen in all the states i think he is the only person that have done something remarkable look at the south is what is happening in the south is is even uh, the ipop leader whom they say is a terrorist he's even the one that is trying to help his own hometown he is the only person i'm talking about uh, mazinam the kanu he's the only person doing everything ensuring that there is a particular uh, security network on ground that is trying to curb the excesses of these guys he is the only person. People are castigating him and all of that. But however, man, this guy is doing what people, some persons wouldn't mind to help him out and to ensure that they strengthen him the more. Because this is the issue of life. How, how would you feel a man of high economic value would just go down the drain, would just get into his six feet because of the activities of some persons who are, whether you like it or not, they're like miscreants. Give them the opportunity to stay with you and you give them a space before you know they want to take over the city. They want to take over the state. Man, despite, okay, look at now. To just show you that there are some sinister moves these guys had in mind. Despite the fact that Akerulu said, okay, if you want to be running your show here, come and register. And when you register, this is the next thing that will happen. You register, we'll, we'll give you a, a, a license to operate in a, they say they're uncomfortable with it. How can we be subjected to, to, to obey the law? That's what they're saying. We can't be subjected to obeying the law. For what? Instead of that, since this place is unconditional for us, let's check out. And they, all of them are going to Oshun. Very soon, we are going to start hearing stories from Oshun. And that's why to have a pro, pro, proactive leader is one of the best things that can ever happen to you. Not just a leader, even be the husband, be the wife. To have a pro, pro, proactive person who sees beyond the noun. Who takes a step before the thing even happen? Terms of not reactive people, you know. Before they before they start struggling it out, everything has gone down. And before you know, people are weeping and gnashing their teeth. Well, I would like to leave it there. But I just want you to rate what this guy has done. What do you have to say about it? Let's interact. 